Today, let's talk a little bit about the new Unity text stream release. So, a few days ago, Unity has released a text stream version, uh, Unity 2022.1. This text stream release uh, contains a lot of new changes and uh, a very useful feature they have added, but I'm particularly interested about one of the future. All of the future you can find uh, in their blog. Uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description below this video. So let's go quickly through them. Uh, you can read about them on the uh, on the Unity blog, so I'm not gonna show you exactly how to use them, but you can see all of the information uh, on the website. So there are a few very interesting features like uh, Extensible Editor, uh, they included the spline behavior inside the Unity, also the enhancement productivity, some of the searching tools, um, they improved the animation for the sprites, and also added a few interesting things about the performance and the optimization. But this is not uh, the most exciting news for me. Uh, I, for a very long time, I, there was one particular feature inside the Unity which drive me crazy. This was related to the asset store and then storing the packages on my C drive. The problem I was having that my C drive was always overflowing. All of the assets from the Unity asset store has been stored in my C drive and I have always run out of space. So I couldn't use all of the assets at once. I had to delete them and then re-download them again and again. So in this new tech released uh, version, Unity has changed that finally, and they let you set the, uh, the path wherever you want to store your assets. So this is the, the most exciting news for me as that's going to solve a lot of issues, which, uh, which I have for many, many years. So as you see, currently I just storing my Unity assets on my J drive and my asset currently is about 60, 67 gigabytes. So this is quite a lot and I can finally set the target location where I can store it. So let's go through it and I'm going to show you how you can change uh, the, uh, the location for your asset store. So first of all, you need to make sure you have the latest Unity version installed. So if you go to the installs, I have the installed like 2022.1.0 F1. If you don't have this version installed yet, uh, just hit the install editor and then you will be able to select that version from the list here and just hit the install button. So once you have this version, you can open the, any of the project which you've been working on with uh, the version of this, uh, with this version of the Unity. Uh, so I already did that. So let me go back to the Unity. And as you see, this is the uh, one of the game I've been working on. This is the Gladi Gladiator game. And uh, it's not finished yet, but uh, didn't have a time really to, to finish it off. So inside the Unity, you can go to the Edit, Preferences, and then you can see the Package Manager option on the, on the side. So from here, you can set the cache location and then uh, and then asset location. So you can hit this small button and then select the change location to select any folder on any drive, wherever you like. So this, hopefully this feature will help you save some hassle of moving uh, packages around, especially if you have a lot of packages which you bought in the past and uh, you want to store them some, somewhere. I know this was the problem for many people, many of my friends and also uh, for me. So I am very happy with this addition and uh, this is something has been reported to Unity for, for many years and uh, I read a few forums where people really complaining about it. So I'm very happy about this feature and this is the reason I'm just recording this video just to, to, to let you know that this is uh, something that is available in the latest version of the Unity. So in the future tutorials I probably gonna use the Unity 2022 version as I really want to use this new location of the packages. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, please uh, leave the like. Consider subscribing to this channel if you want a more video like that. So thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next video.